This is going to be a tough fight, and we are all up for it. We must defend our democracy. <laughs> We must protect our fundamental freedoms. <laughs> and we must win this election against Donald Trump. Well, howdy, folks. This is Victor, your friendly neighborhood watchman coming to you today to talk about Joe Biden dropping out of the presidential race, more like being forced to drop out after hearing the cries coming from his Democrat comrades. Well, this should come as no surprise. Then again, some people were saying that Biden's hubris, his arrogance would keep him from acquiescing to cause of not running for office again. Or maybe his wife, Jill Biden, and his son, Hunter, were at his ear telling him to stay in the race. So didn't the president do a great job? Yes! Who'd you talk about? But be that as it may, he has officially dropped out and it all started with Donald Trump's acceptance of the debate terms. You got that right. Woo! He agreed to the terms that were in favor of Joe Biden because of the leftist mainstream media, namely it taking place at CNN with their moderators, Jake Trapper and Dana Bash. And there was footage in the days that followed showing Dana pointing at something. It's believed she was pointing toward the camera so that geriatric Biden would not stare off into space with that blank look. And we'll look at the, <laughs> and we'll look at the camera. I must say I was hesitant about Trump accepting the terms demanded by the Biden team. It was a take it or leave it proposal. There was no compromising. They wanted everything on their terms. They wanted the debate hosted by CNN and they wanted their people moderating it with no audience and shutting off of the mics with the latter requirement being acceptable as far as I'm concerned. Cutting off the mics so there's no back and forth bickering. Besides that, who's better at playing golf skit? But um, I gotta admit, Trump was right in accepting despite the rigid demands and non comprisals I was wrong. You can't handle the truth! Oh, I can handle the truth, Jack. I just said I was wrong. That debate, as we all know now, helped bring down Joe Biden. How dare you! They could not lie and hide what the nation, if indeed not the world, saw with their own eyes and heard with their own ears. The cognitive decline of Joe Biden. I just want to take a step back for a second because I do take offense. Shut up! But folks, let us jump into this article. We'll briefly go over from the New York Post with the byline by Victor Nava with the heading, Biden drops out a presidential race after Democratic revolt following disastrous debate, quote, best interest of the country, end quote. So folks, without further ado, let's do this <laughs> Now, let's do this shit! Ah! President Biden made the historically rare decision Sunday to drop out of the 2024 presidential race, less than four months after being declared the Democratic Party's presumptive nominee, and just weeks after a dismal debate showing, brother, you can say that again. I just said that, bitch. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. It has filled my bank account to overflowing. The 81-year-old embattled crook in chief wrote in a remarkable letter he addressed to my fellow Americans and China too. And while it has been my intention to seek reflection or should it be election? I don't know if it's a Biden misspeak or a typo on this article. But I digress. I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision, Biden wrote. 
For now, let me express my deepest gratitude to all those who have worked so hard to hide my cognitive decline and sought for me to be re-elected. I want to thank Vice President and DEI hire Carmela Harris for being an extraordinary partner in all this work. No. <laughs> yeah, extraordinarily bad. Oh, that cold. And let me express my heartfelt appreciation to the American people and China for the faith and trust you have placed in me. The president's exit from the race months before election day comes just weeks after a debate performance against former president Donald J. Trump in which the incumbent appeared infirm and was at times incoherent. Come on, man. Give me a little break here. Alarming Democratic donors and strategists that should have known better. That were horrified that the public finally saw what they have known all along. Biden will no longer seek a second term in the White House. It also follows an assassination attempt on Trump during a campaign rally in Pennsylvania earlier this month. Biden's withdrawal is expected to set off a free-for-all for the Democratic nomination for president and send his son Hunter into a crack cocaine spiral, an alcoholic binge, and pundits foresee many a lost weekend in the president's son's near future. And there's Biden's letter, which someone other than him obviously wrote. Duh. A New York Times Siena College poll, released one day before his doomed debate with Trump, showed that 70% felt Biden was too old to be commander-in-chief. His June 27th showdown with Trump was the death knell of his campaign. As I mentioned earlier, Biden's debate performance, which included proclaiming to have, <laughs> to have beat Medicare after looking down on his lectern for 10 seconds having lost his train of thought, led to panic in the Democrat establishment. And you gotta like Trump's comeback to Biden's comment. Well, he's right, he did beat Medicare, he beat it to death. The liberal New York Times editorial board called on Biden to step aside as the presumptive Democratic nominee the day after the debate, calling the president admirable, <laughs> but the shadow of a great public servant. Yeah, in your future mind. Daddy, chill. So folks, that's what I want to do on my videos. Given the opportunity, we will jump on over to the reader's comment section and peruse some of these posts. First up, it's from Otto Wellwood. Now more than ever, Trump needs voters to vote. They must not rest on their laurels, thinking it's a done deal for Republicans and rely on others to go to the effort of participating in casting their ballot. I agree. Don't take anything for granted. Savannah Harrison replies, agree. The GOP has to stay on top of this and not take it for granted. It's more important than ever to go to the polls and vote for Trump. D also replies, true, will be more competition for Trump. Personally though, this whole debacle makes the Dems look super unstable, not to mention their actual policy issues. I think ultimately, no matter who the Dems put on the ticket, Trump will have an edge over them. But you're correct. It is important voters get out and vote for him. I say this as a former Democrat who realized a few months ago, I cannot vote Democrat again. Well, good for you, D. You finally have awoken and seen the light. A like for you and you and you. Smile. Next up, we have Adrian Carton de Riot. Not a single primary vote was cast for Kamala, but they just selected her instead. About the only way I will buy this is if Biden resigns today as well. The primaries are over and the Democratic candidate was elected in an uncontested primary. It is not like they didn't see this coming. Too little, too late. You cannot change candidates now. Whatever. <laughs> well, they are. The new candidate will have not been elected via primary, making them a selected candidate, not an elected candidate. This is true. Yep. Daniel Hogan responds, Kamala won't get a whiff of the Democratic nomination. The Dems will call for an emergency runoff of Hillary versus Harris, and Clinton will rolf stomper. Hopefully, senile old Joe won't keep his yaps shut. Pushing for Kamala 
and it fractures the party even more. Oh, boy! Yes, one can hope, Daniel. One can hope. Kalanda responds, you are correct. But how can it get rid of Giggles, Kamala, now? <laughs> Daddy, chill. GTC says, if the Democrats can viciously turn on their own, a senile senior citizen to boot, just imagine what they can and will do to the rest of us. I'm a Democrat that has lost all faith and trust in the party. I will not vote for whomever they plug into that spot. I hope President Biden receives all the care he needs. Certainly, the rest of seniors who need nursing home care will not get it under the Dems regime. Medicare does not cover it. Ed Cox replies, Welcome to real America. We will always disagree on some things, but if we all are patriots, then we can survive and move forward. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Last but not least, Snickhip also replies, We don't have to imagine. We've seen their destruction. We've seen their destruction for the last three and a half years. 100%, you got that right. Well, folks, we come to the end of this video. Come on, man. If you agree with my comments and or the comments from the readers, then please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't, for shame. 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 And hit that notification bell so that you always be forewarned whenever I'm about to mm, drop another video. And as always, stay safe and... I bid you peace.